hope your day is going fantastic. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I'm super excited to share with you the Queen & Co Snack Shack Kit. This is a fully loaded kit and it's all about snacks. You're going to fall in love with it. There is tacos, hot dogs, popcorn. You get some soda pop, pizza, burgers, french fries. It's going to make you hungry. I promise we're going to create some cards using this kit. Um, this is the piece of paper that comes with the kit tells you everything that's in it. We're going to go over that uh, contents real quickly and then there's some inspiration on the very front side. The back side tells you what goes with what. So what dyes create the popcorn, the soda, the hot dog, the pizza, and so forth. Actually you can customize the pizza because the pepperoni, peppers, mushrooms, onions, olives, and sausage or little dyes that you can um, customize your pizza with. Pretty fabulous. Along with the burger. French fries are super fun. And I'm looking forward to sharing a couple of projects with you. Okay, let's take a look at the kit. First, these are your dyes. There are tw There's 34 dyes. And they're scaled perfectly for all sorts of um, card sizes. And basic shapes with the stitch detail are the shapes that will cut out your shaker elements. You also get the Snack Shack Mac Stack. <laughs> now that's a tongue twister. There are some fun pattern papers in here that go with just about um, everything. And I love the checkerboard. You have that. It would go great with some french fries. But there's tone on tones, plaids, lots of pretty prints and you get multiple sizes, you actually get three sheets of each pattern. So there's eight double-sided papers, three sheets of each, which means there's 24 in total. Pretty fabulous stuff. And we also have the foam shakers and the acetate pieces. There's three sets in here, so that you can create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. You can create 21 shakers with this foam set. It's three, if you want three tacos, three popcorns, three sodas, you have the option to do that. And Queen & Co sells the refills for this too. So if you run out of this, you can always go to Queen & Co and pick up an extra set. We get a stamp set this month. I'm gonna bring in some cardstock so you can see behind it. And it's all about snacks that are just super fun. That's your stamp set. And this is a quality photopolymer stamp set too. It's a four by six set. So these stamps are really nice quality. And that's included in our Snack Shack kit. And lastly, we get some toppings. Lots of toppings. These are little sample bags. I know Quinico probably has um, lots of toppings that are sold separately if you wanna mix and match them. But with this kit, you get eight toppings. And I say they're sample bags, but there's a lot in here. And that is everything in the Snack Shack kit. I'm gonna trim down some pattern papers, pick out some shakers that we're gonna use today, and I'll be right back. For my first card, we're gonna start on creating our background for a card. We're gonna make a burger with french fries. And I thought the checker would go perfect for today's card. So we are gonna take the black and white checkers. I thought we would put this at an angle on the front of our card, kind of emulating a tablecloth. So we're gonna flip this over, use my tape runner, and we're gonna add some adhesive. And I'm gonna layer it on my card. Now we're gonna create our burger, the fun part. <laughs> so I have some colors of cardstock. We're gonna make a burger and fries. So the fries, I'm gonna use a light yellow cardstock. We're gonna take this piece, and then there's three extra fries that we can layer on here. We will die cut out these. I'm using some red cardstock for my french fry box. And then we have our burger. We have green. We'll take our lettuce. We have our cheese. And I have an orangey yellow 
put some American cheese on there. <laughs> we have this piece. It's a burger. I'll die cut this out with brown cardstock. And then we have this piece, which is our burger. Actually, that's not it. We also have this piece that's our burger bun. I'm going to die cut this out with some tan. And then our shaker element for our burger is this piece. We're going to die cut out that with the same tan cardstock. And I think, oh, we have a, we need a tomato. For my tomato, I'm bringing in a different color of red cardstock just because I want it different than our french fry box. I'm going to run everything through my die cut machine. And you know, I think I'm going to make a extra tall burger. So I'm going to die cut out an extra layer of these four pieces. And we're going to make a double stack burger for our car today, kind of stretching our burger. And I want to do that and I'll be right back. I have everything die cut out. And now just to give my card a little bit of extra interest, we're gonna bring in some finger daubers and then also some distress inks or distress oxide inks. We're gonna add a little bit of shading to each one of our elements. Now my french fries, I'm not gonna create a shaker with them. This is gonna be in the background. So I'm gonna actually layer these both together. I'm gonna add a piece of tape just so I know they're not going anywhere. And then kind of tape these together. I'm gonna to use my brown ink. This is Vintage Photo. And I'm just gonna add a little darker color at the very bottom. Kind of fade up a little bit. Just to add a little bit of something to my fries. And then I'm using my fossilized amber. We're going to add a little bit of shading to this. I'm going to probably bring in my finger dauber with my vintage photo on it. And we are going to brown up some of these french fries too. I'm also going to add some shading to our burger bun here. Add a little toastiness and I will layer these together. We're going to do one side of the top of our burger bun. Okay, and lastly, we're going to bring in a green ink. I have mowed lawn. And we're going to add a little bit of color to our lettuce. Just on some of the edges, that way some has darker areas and then some will have lighter areas, and then we're good to go. Okay, let's build our burger, everything but the top piece. So we're going to first add our patty here. After we have this, sky is the limit. We're gonna go ahead and add maybe some cheese. This is where you can mix and match to your heart's content. I'm going to place it a little wonky. <laughs> and then I'm going to add another bead of glue and then we're going to add our lettuce. And then we can add our tomato. I'm placing the lettuce a little more towards the right, the tomato a little more towards the left because we're going to add another layer. Let's add another patty here. Okay, then all we have to do is add the top of our burger bun, which would be, of course, our shaker portion. Okay, let's go ahead and create our french fry box. Now, even though we're not adding, um, we're not adding any shaker element to this french fry box, which you very well could. You just can't. I'm going to be tucking this under my, my burger, so I didn't want the extra dimension. But I do want some extra dimension with my french fries. So I'm going to put a thin piece of foam tape 
behind these three loose ones and then we will tack these down and you know I think I'm gonna cut out a couple more french fries so I went ahead and cut out three more french fries and did a little bit of shading with those distress oxide inks so we have few extra french fries. Okay, I'm going to take the back of my french fry carton and then we're going to tack down our french fries to the very base of this. So it's going to be a little angle but it's still very thin. Okay, and then we're going to add some more adhesive behind here, tape and all, and then we are going to actually figure out our placement. Now we're going to go ahead and create our burger shaker. So I have my foam refill here and let's take the burger top here. We'll punch out the middle. I'm actually going to use the middle piece right in the back of the base of my burger. Okay, I'm going to remove the release paper and we will tack this down. I'm going to take the inside of my shaker, we're going to add some adhesive behind here, and I'm going to play around with my placement, and I'm thinking that's a good spot, so I'll tack down the inside of my shaker directly to that checkerboard paper, and then I'm going to remove the release paper off of my foam, and then we can add our foam here. We'll go ahead and tack that down. And then we can remove the top release paper and we're going to bring in some of our toppings. I'm going to be using these tan colored. We'll add a little shake there. And then I'm going to bring in our acetate. We're going to go ahead and layer this on top of our foam. We'll press down really good. Then I like to give it a shake. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is bring in our tape runner. And you can use your glue if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and add my burger bun at the very top. Press down really good. How cute is that? I just love this. Okay, we're going to stick before we add our french fries at the bottom, we're going to stamp our sentiment. Now I'm bringing in the Bubble and Frame Foundation die set. Um, one side has frame, well, there's some frames in here, and then there's also some speech bubbles. I'm going to die cut out this speech bubble for this card here. I'm going to place my speech bubble in my stamping positioner and we're going to stamp hello. Hope your day is filled with surprises. I think that's so cute. So let's take our first greeting. Now I'm putting my I'm putting my greeting a little bit more towards the right because we're probably going to cut off the left of this speech bubble. So I'm going to go ahead and add my sub sentiment here. Let's go ahead and bring in some black ink and then we'll ink this up here. We'll stamp this and then I'm going to bring in the hello and for the hello I'm going to bring in a red ink. I think it, I want this to stand out so red goes perfect. I'm going to go through my foam and I'm going to take the negative piece here. We're today we're going to, well, I'm going to take the negative piece of the soda bottle to put behind this greeting here. Um, I'm, I chose the soda bottle because our next card is going to be a, the soda bottle and I know we're not going to be using the middle so we're going to use the negative piece here. I'm going to add it behind my greeting and we're going to place this. 
Okay, we have our leftover french fries. We're going to pop these up with, these, with the leftover piece here too. And again, using the inside of that foam bottle, we're going to trim. This, is, this foam tape is really easy to um, trim, which makes it really nice. And I'm going to go ahead and put foam tape behind here. And we're going to add some loose french fries. Tuck one under the burger bun there. Kind of spread out that yellow a little bit. And I just love the way this turns out. Now for finishing touches, I'm going to bring in some of the Queen & Co. iridescent bubbles. I have the red ones here. And we're going to add a couple bubbles in our background. And I think we just need a few. And we're going to add a little greasy sparkle to our french fry. So I'm bringing in my Spectrum Noir sparkle pen. We're going to add a little bit of shimmer to these fries. As if they just came out of the fryer. <laughs> and then we're going to add a little bit of glisten to our tomato too. And that will finish off my first card project. We're going to jump in and create some sodas next. For my sodas, I thought we'd create a orange soda and a strawberry soda. <laughs> so we have some orange cardstock. This is what we're going to use for our soda bottle. And I also have some pink. So we'll die cut out the bottle twice. Once with pink, once with the orange. And then I have a, a orangey yellow cardstock. We're going to create a label for our bottle with this one. And then also some pink cardstock. We'll create two labels with this. And then I have some silver mirror cardstock. We're going to die cut out the soda bottle cap here twice with the silver cardstock. Okay, I'm going to run everything through my die cut machine. Oh, you knew it? I want to create a circle label too. So I'm bringing in, I'm also going to bring in the Foundations 3 die set. This has four circles in it. I'm going to take the smallest here and we're going to die cut out two circles with this. And I'm also going to use another speech bubble that we used with our Bubbles and Frames die set. Okay, actually let's use this one instead. Okay, so I am going to die cut everything out and I will be right back. While I was die cutting, I did decide to switch out colors. Instead of making a pink soda bottle, I thought we'd do a green, more of a universal color. So we're going to go with this today. Now I am going to do ink blending like we did on our first card. I'm bringing in my mode Lawn. Keeping these together, I'm just going to add some color. Kind of fading. Maybe we should go one side kind of fading up a little bit. Okay, so we have some ink blending on our sodas. Before we put them together, I'm going to work on our background. We'll put these to the side. For this card, we're going to make a landscape style card. And using my Foundation 3's die set, I used both the rectangles using these two pattern papers. What we're going to do is layer them together on the front of my card. And then I have a three quarter inch strip of the stripe paper. We're going to adhere this directly across um, our card base. Now for this card, I do want to bring in some red twine. So I'm going to open this up and then just using my pokey tool, I'm going to poke a hole right at the seam. And then I'm going to bring in some red twine. I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times and we're going to tie a bow over here to the right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and trim the tails of my bow. To me, these colors just say kind of diner colors. <laughs> okay, we have our bottles. Now, one of these bottles is going to go on the bottom and then one of these are going to go on the top, kind of overlapping. Place some kind of wonky hair. Before we do that though, I do want to stamp my greeting before my card gets any bulkier. So I'm going to bring in my stamping positioner. For my card today, I'm going to stamp the greeting that says I am soda delighted for you. 
I love that. And I'm going to stamp this with my black ink. And I'm afraid my bow might get in the way. So I'm going to move this over here. Let's see if we can stamp it with the bow. If not, I may have to redo the bow. The bow. Let's ink this up with black ink. Oh. And it worked like a charm. I love that. Now, one of these bottles is not going to have a shaker element, and I think it's going to be the orange one here. So what I'm going to do is directly adhere it to my card. We'll just tack this down where we want it to go along with our outline. Okay, and I do want it to look like there's some soda bubbles in there, so I'm going to use my clay confetti for that. Okay, let's bring in our next soda bottle. We're going to crisscross them. Now we're going to go ahead and add our shaker toppings. Sometimes your confetti wants to have a mind of its own, and the static gets to it. So you might have to adjust a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take the top of my soda bottle and you can use glue if you want but I think a tape runner is easier and there's no you don't have to mess with it oozing out we're gonna go ahead and layer this okay we're gonna add our soda bottle caps and for this I'll just use some glue now to give this a look like there's some bubbles floating in it I'm just gonna use my glue and a few of my toppings and we're gonna do a little filling in here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of trimming with this label and I'm going to tuck it underneath this green soda. So I'm going to trim it. And then I'm going to lightly pick up this, kind of tuck it underneath there. Lovely. And then we can add this one right over the top here. I'm just going to add some glue. Okay, we have our circles. Let's add those to the center of our soda. We're going to label our sodas here. I may have to tuck one of them underneath here. We'll see. For finishing touches, I'm going to bring in some of my bullseye embellishments. I don't think Queen & Co. has these anymore, but I'll link something similar down below if you guys want to check it out. I think these would go perfect in the center of our little soda labels. And that will finish off that card. One shaker that looks like it shakes and the other one has some shaking bubbles in there. Let's take a look at both cards that we made today using the Queen & Co Snack Shack kit. I hope you get a chance to check it out. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.